to the IOTA news of the last days. I'm Alexander, unconfirmed information you can expect on spec and here we go. Right after the last episode, Muandelo found a new patent. This one was filled by Intel Corp. This disclosure describes edge computing over a disaggregated radio access network infrastructure using a dynamic edge data extraction. As patents go, they always cover new methods and a lot of future stuff, so the patent here is a closed book to me. Maybe someone can describe to me below in the comments what this is all about. I didn't find any reference to IOTA in the document myself, but Muandelo has always proven to be reliable so far. There is a new big project in the ecosystem of IOTA, Nakama Labs, a venture fund that aims to make the future of decentralized web-free applications accessible to all. The team now already includes over 15 people including Daniel de Michel and Dominic Schiener. According to the blog post there are already numerous dApps and partners that will be announced soon. The first project has even been released, Accumulator. The last vote has been through for a few days and you can check out the results in Firefly. With 54% the request to increase the shimmer supply was approved. Since there was a lot of hula bulu about this vote in the run up, the results changed drastically. If the vote had been longer, even the result could have been different. Here you can clearly see how even the voting function works. You need not only the mass of IOTA tokens but also time, so in a short period of time you cannot change the result. The new round of assembly staking started a week ago. That means if you want to stake your IOTA tokens again, you have to do it with Firefly app again. Quick and easy as always. Also I am correcting myself from the second to last episode, there I claimed this was the last round. My non-exist editors have probably proven this. Therefore, the clarification, this is not the last round. The information is wrong, mistake can happen, do your own research. Let's move on to the other new project, Amnesia Cache. Amnesia Cache want to be a driver for privacy first applications. With it we can all make secure and relatively anonymous payments here for the so called zero knowledge proof principle is used. According to the blog post the development is finished and are waiting for the release of Shimmer. As smart contracts are needed for this. The whole thing is based on Tornado Cash or a fork of it, which is currently being pursued by the US authority. The people behind Amnesia still want to go ahead and rely on Tornado Cash. Time will tell how the project progress and whether there are reasons for skepticism. On CoinMarketCap we shine with presence. Not only 8th place of growing projects, 5th place of most used article or once again top article on CoinMarketCap's website, IOTA shows the true strength perseverance and continuity. Many outside the IOTA bubble get to see IOTA develop on a daily basis and with rankings like this you can clearly see the growing interest. The smart contracts team had a new session, you can all watch it on YouTube, this time with the topic bridges. The Firefly beta app has received a new update and a few interesting new features. One of them is the deposit of quasi gifts. This costs less glow than if you make a normal transaction. Staying with Firefly, the team behind it posted an update on GitHub. There is now a beta fast for a mobile app. This beta can do everything the Firefly version 1.0 can do. Next more features will be implemented such as the long awaited biometric login. The goal is to release as soon as possible before Stardust comes so they can support Shimmer right away. The Firefly Shimmer app was also mentioned, the new features I have already mentioned in the last two episodes. Add to that, the work on Ledger Nano supports is coming and the claiming of Shimmer tokens. These two things are very advanced according to the statements. Support for NFTs has also begun. You know when you want to send IOTA to someone and the addresses are so cryptic that you always have to be afraid that you typed something wrong or copied it wrong? Wouldn't it be better to have an easier way to send this address? Disentangle will soon offer something like this, a name address. The whole thing is already possible with Ethereum and it's called ENS, Ethereum Name Service. As an example, Alexander.iota or probably nothing.iota would be possible. But this could not only be a wallet, but also at the same time a website, 
integration for dApps or even the login with IOTA. We can also welcome a new listing of IOTA and this time also the native tokens. Bitforex is taking up IOTA. Garrett Jin, one of the founder of Bitforex and TanglePay also leaks that Shimmer will be listed. Bitforex is more relevant in Asia than in our parts. Heads off of this achievement, the Asia market is one of the biggest and will be a great boom for IOTA and Shimmer. We come again to a topic where I actually thought that it will not make a big waves because everyone can read and interpret contacts and especially everything correctly. An IOTA Foundation member has simply reviled his thoughts on Discord. How can he only? Whether one should not introduce fees or inflation in IOTA. Thereupon everyone freaked out or thought it was just a thought, nothing official. Thereupon, many IOTA Foundation members have come forward and also said their opinion, what comes on their mind. Among other things, Hans Smoke was against it and casually threatened twice with withdrawals from the project, if the fees are still introduced, because that was exactly the vision of IOTA and he wants to work on it. Three times you may guess what this has triggered in the community. Panic. Incomprehension and anger in Telegram and Discord circulated then simply said the following hand smoke quits. But it was only thoughts from everyone, nothing official. To clarify here again, hand smoke will not leave the IOTA Foundation, believe no one and read the tweets in context. It's not worth to look out of 10 tweets exactly one where it says I leave the IOTA Foundation if there is not a but. I thought the IOTA community is grown up and understands the context of communication. It is sad to see that the people just take everything for granted without doing their own research or questioning some statements of some people. And the best is if some people post exactly these statements and pour oil in imaginary fire where it does not burn at all. Fortunately all this has done nothing to the price. Meanwhile trust you out there everything. Please stay calm, don't take everything for granted just because someone somewhere posted something, especially if it's taken out of context. I'll just repeat it again, Hans Smoke is not leaving IOTA Foundation and no fees will be introduced. Nevertheless, many must understand that you have to talk about everything, even if the topics do not please everyone, but they must be mentioned, research in a completely new field works just like that. It would be worse to just get everything done somehow and not have considered all aspects to change everything again later. Of course it takes longer and of course I understand that many finally want to see a product at IOTA, but the screaming will be louder again when the stuff comes out half finished on the market. You already know, no matter how you do it, you can't please all of you out there. IOTA is supposed to be transparent, if it is, everybody screams, if it's not, everybody screams. So please stay calm, don't panic when Discord and Telegram are on fire. Only when something is officially announced should be raised your voice, until then just talk constructively and exchange opinions. And just like the headlight says only part of the truth, the content says something completely different. Take this to heart and I'll see you at the next video. Bye bye.